Hi, in this movie, we're going to take a look at how we can assign a file texture to our bottom ground plane over here, the floor. We're also going to take a look at how we can make use of some simple buttons inside the hypershade, some commonly used buttons, like the clear graph, rearrange graph, graph materials on selected objects, also the input and output connections button. We're also going to take a look at how we can modify some 2D texture node attributes, and also how we can display the texture in the viewport. So I'm going to assign a blend material to the floor. So let's go to the surface, blend. And although you can middle mouse button drag and drop, I'm going to select the bottom ground plane and right click assign material to selection. Let's also right click on this one more time and go to rename and rename this to floor. And at this time, I want to apply a nice file texture to this. So that can be found under 2D textures file. And although again, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Let's just simply double click on this and it takes us to the floor material attributes. Next to the color, there's this little checker box. Let's click on that and that opens the create render node dialog box. Let's click on the 2D textures. Let's go to file and it's in the file texture node tab right now. So let's, it's asking me for an image name. I'm going to go to this little folder and open the finishes masonry flooring slate dot JPEG. And you can see that it's already applied over here. And the reason it's showing me this in the viewport is because my button over here was highlighted. And the hotkey for that is 6. So if that doesn't show up in your view, simply hit 6 or click on this button. So 6 is, again, a nice little toggle switch. Okay. So 7 is lights, but 6 is a toggle switch to do that. So with that, let's also render this over here since we have a render view. You can see that I can't really see my tiling properly. So at that point, what I'm going to do is simply double click on this 2D texture node and go to the repeat UNV. And I'm going to repeat the UNV, which is pretty much X and Y in, let's say, 6 by 6. And you can see a nice preview over here. And I can also render this one more time. And there we go. We can see some nice tiling. In fact, maybe we can increase it to 7 by 7. Let's render it one more time. Some buttons that you'll always use in the hypershade. Let's say you're done with this floor right now and you don't want to see the shading network over here. What you can do is you can simply click on this button, which is clear graph. So you can see it's gone from here, but it's not gone from your hypershade. It's still over here. And if you wanted to start editing this again, you can again do it a lot of different ways, but the easiest way is select the object if you know what it's applied to and simply click on this button, which is graph materials on selected objects. And right now, what it's showing you over here is something called the inputs and outputs. So the place 2D texture node is the input for the file. The file is the input for the blend shader, which is the floor. That's the name we have given it. And the floor is the input for the shading group node. So if I just wanted to see the inputs for my blend over here, so I'll just click on that and say, show me just the inputs for that. If I click on the file and say, show me your outputs, it's pretty much going to show me the outputs only for the file, but it's not showing me the 2D texture node. So that's your inputs and outputs. And if I click on this one, the blend, and say, show me inputs and outputs, it's going to show me the entire network. Also, at any time, if your shading network goes a little crazy, it starts to look, let's say, like this, you can simply select on any node and click on this button over here, which is Rearrange Graph and hit F, and you can see that it's nicely rearranged the graph for you.